undergroundhiphopblog.com exclusive. Mic check, one, two, one, two. What up? It's Pause One representing undergroundhiphopblog.com. I'm here with Cap Callis. What's going on, Cap? Big chilling. Living. Feeling good. I woke up this morning. Life is good. So, yeah. I'm out here repping with the Underground Hip Hop blog. You know? I was talking to my verse a little earlier about a video you guys are working on. You want to you touch base on a video with the title of the track is called? Is it on your channel, her channel? Where can people find that video? Uh, yeah, it's a track that kind of just came together last time uh, my verse was in town. Um, we did a track. It's herself. Uh, my homie Jay Gatsby, check out Jay Gatsby, really dope MC, and me, and I think it's going to be, I'm not exactly sure what we're calling the track, in all honesty, to, be, to keep it 100, we're going to keep that one a mystery until it drops, so, you know, um, you never know, but I'm pretty sure it's going to be called Where You Been, I'm pretty sure, but I could be wrong, I might have just made up the name of the track right now, it's quite possible, we're going to call the song Winnebago with Spinners. It's gonna be called Winnebago with Spinners. You hear it here. You heard it here first. It's an underground hip hop blog exclusive. Um, check out that my verse featuring Jay Gatsby and Cap Callis. Winnebago with Spinners. License plate says Pussy Wagon. Yeah, <laughs> fucking. So yeah, it'll be cool though. Um, I like loosely directed it. And Jay Gatsby did the camera and editing work, and uh, it should be cool. We'll see how it turns out. Dope. I checked out some of your videos too. I, I was already familiar with a lot of your work, so I want to make sure these people that aren't familiar, if you motherfuckers aren't. They get familiar. Let them know where to find all your stuff. Let's let's get them right away so they can check the stuff out right when the interview's done. Let them know where to find your videos, your music, and all those things. Cool, yeah. I mean, everything on me you can find. Just Google Cap Callus. It's K-A-P-K-A-L-L-O-U-S. That'll be the Twitter, the Facebook, the Bandcamp. Um, the only thing that's not Cap Callus is my YouTube, and the YouTube is Smash City Gauntlet, which is my crew. Shout out to Jay Biz and Red Simpkins, the whole Ozone. You know, um, we got two projects coming out, or it might just be one project coming out this year, um, but it should be coming out in the next couple months. Um, you know, so that's basically everywhere. Just if, yeah, basically Google me. I'm really easy to find. I'm not a needle in the haystack type of dude. I think somebody actually just recognized you a minute ago. We're standing out here getting ready. We're prepping to do the video, and somebody recognized my man, Cap. I wanted to talk to you about, right now we're in Southern California. Shout out to GCS. Um, I wanted to talk to you about where you're originally from, because I don't know if people out here are familiar, but we got to make sure they know. Let them know where you're originally from. Uh, born and raised in South Florida, Broward County. Um, lived in Orlando. That's the ozone, if you don't know. Um, for about eight years, eight, nine years, and then relocated to L.A. I currently stay in K-Town and, um, you know, planet Earth. And you can find me, you know, I'm pretty easy to access and shit, so check me out, you know. Currently lurking the the catacombs of your internet server, possibly, you know. I might creep up like a pop-out, you know, about you want to increase your sex drive, <laughs> hit me up. So, yeah, that's it. Horny, horny goat weed. I'm out there. I wanted to talk to you about the difference between the scene, if there is a difference from where you're originally from and out here in L.A. We talked about that a couple of days ago at a show. I mean, there's a lot of similarities, like, you know, where you, wherever you go and shit, but you think there's really a significant difference or is it kind of all just the same? What do you think? Man, hip hop scenes in general, in my opinion, and I always have to say that because I always have very, uh, I have very loud opinions and um, people take them as, as, as if I'm stating them as facts. But in my opinion, every single hip hop scene that I've been in and I've traveled all over the country is the same. You know what I mean? Is that basically there's a, a, a gang of cats that want to come up. They want to rap. Everybody's secretly hating on each other. Some people work with each other, but they're really working with the people that they think they can get on through possibly. You know what I mean? And that's an underground hip-hop scene. And the main thing that every single underground hip-hop scene is usually lacking is a really dedicated fan base you know what i mean so all i can say is like you know if you're not a rapper and you're watching this and i i've got a feeling that more than 50 percent of people who are watching this might be rappers but but if you're not a rapper and you're really into hip-hop go check out your local scene you know what i mean go to some open mics go to some shows and there may be no one that you think is dope but there might be one person and you become a fan and you can be onto their shit before anybody else and you never know like you might discover your new favorite artist in your local area so you know every scene's the same as in there's not enough fans so if you're a fan of hip-hop go check out your local scene i don't care if you're in idaho california florida rhode island whatever it is support your local scene you heard it first cab callus 
That's dope, though, because a lot of people don't understand that technology made it easier for anybody that had, like, that woke up and got that itch to rap. Like, fuck it, I'm going to rap today. I got, I'm going to, yeah, I'm going to go buy this program. I'm going to buy a microphone like this one. And I'm going to fucking turn it to a rapper. I'm going to create a channel, and then I'm all good. But one of the things you said that touched on that, that, that kind of, like, made me think was when you said that a lot of people, a lot of artists only work with each other to find ways to come up through each other. And then everybody secretly hates on each other. And I noticed that, too, when it comes to, like, every scene is, like, its own little soap opera. Yeah, it's very cliquish. And then people wonder why nobody ever comes up. So, I mean, not to keep touching on that, but what is it that you do to separate yourself from that same, you know, crabs in a, in a bucket mentality? I mean, what I do to separate my, as my versus doing the weirdest dance I've ever seen in the world right now. But, uh... She's just doing some weird shit. All right, anyways, um, what I usually do to separate myself from the crabs in the bucket is I don't kick it in the bucket. I'm not in the bucket. Like, you know, I've been out here for a year and a half, two years, and you probably haven't seen me at a lot of local shows. And it has nothing to do with being a hater on the local scene. It's that I'm in the crib labbed up. I'm working on music. Or I'm outside of the city I live in doing something outside of the city. Like, I'll be in Alaska next month. I just got off tour hitting Utah, Seattle, um, Idaho Falls. You know what I mean? Like, I'm my whole goal to keep myself away from that whole issue that we were just talking about is to never be in my scene and the only way to put on your scene is to go put somewhere else and put on for your scene and a conversation i've had with a lot of people and i guess a quote that i've like coined is like the whole point is to be a scene rapper like s-e-e-n not a scene rapper you know what i mean because yeah, exactly. So, like, you know, and if you think about it, like, anyone who's blown up, everyone's always like, well, that guy's from my hometown, and I've never even seen him at any of our shows. And it's, like, because he was hustling. You know what I mean? Like, I'm sure y'all didn't see Kendrick at all the local shows three, four years ago, but he reps L.A. super hard. You know what I mean? He reps Cali super hard, and he was hustling. You know what I mean? Like, so, like, don't ever knock anyone from your scene that blows up just because they weren't at local shows. Just be happy that someone from your scene's popping at all. You know what I mean? So that's what I do is I, I don't even verge near the bucket. You know what I mean? And hopefully, you know, if I get to a certain point, I can kick that bucket over and more people can crawl out of it and do their thing. Metaphorical bucket, obviously. You know, metaphorical bucket. You know, my new album, Watch Out for Metaphorical Bucket, Volume 1, coming out soon. Yeah. On one hand, you're saying that some people only work with each other to use that person to come up. On the other hand, you're saying, like, you know what? I don't mind knocking over the bucket for my scene and getting people the metaphorical bucket to, uh, and that's another uh, quote that you just coined right now, to get other artists' attention and things like that. That's dope. So what is it that, for you as an MC and somebody that mastered your craft and is definitely a grinder, what is it that you look for in other MCs where you're like, you know what, I kind of identify with Dude's Hustle or the music or, or heard this or, or whatever it is. Like, or do you just like, you know what, fuck a rapper? Any rapper that I fuck with, like Heavy, is someone that can do something that I can't do. And same thing with business. Like, I don't, I don't fuck with you if you can do exactly what I do because that's pointless. You know what I mean? We can't, we can't get anything together, you know? But if, like, if I see a rapper that is pulling off a whole style that I could just never do and I respect what they're doing, it's like, yo, I got to fuck with that guy because you're bringing something to the table that I can't even, you know, create for myself. And hopefully, likewise, I can bring something to you. I mean, I've got two or three artists that I'm working with right now that I'm just... I would never use the word manage because that involves getting money out of them. I'm just trying to push them. You know what I mean? I'm trying to push them to be as artistic as possible and do as many shows as they can and put out as much quality work continually. You know what I mean? So, and they're, they're people that sound nothing like me. You know what I mean? Because I don't, like, you know, at the end of the day, number one, why would you want to push someone who sounds just like you that's creating your own competition? You know what I mean? And two, I, I've got a very versatile ear, you know? So... I mean, that's, I don't know if I led it straight away from the question or not, no, no, no. but that's, sorry, I didn't want to burp on your microphone. It happens from time to time. But, um, you know, yeah, I mean, basically, that's really what it is, is that I fuck with people more or less who don't sound like me, you know what I mean? And then, you know, it's always good to work with artists that you can gel with, you know, but I, I never seek out an artist that has like a similar style or is in a similar lane because to me it's like, all right, I'm already bringing that to the table. If you're bringing the same fans with you, you know, I'd rather cross market with someone, you know, but that's just me. I don't know. See, that's dope for the 75, 80 percent MCs, rappers, whatever that are tuned into this. He just broke down a whole lot of shit 
So make sure you pay attention. You probably fucking won't, and you're going to stay a scene rapper and not a scene rapper. You know what I mean? Cap Callis, appreciate your time, brother. Yo, what up? Cap Callis, Ozone Representer, Smash City Gauntlet, all up in your mouth. You already know what it is. Undergroundhiphopblog.com. Go check them out. Log in, blog in, say how you feel, listen to what you want, and rep that good music all day. Bong, Ozone Florida shit. Yeah. Undergroundhiphopblog.com exclusive.